All right, welcome back, everybody, um, to another video here on the channel. Joining me, of course, is the lovely Desdrian. How are you doing, Des? I fell. Fell. <laughs> As you can see, Des has been been busy here, and um, if you're wondering what all these new blocks are. Um, we are on the latest snapshot. Um. Yeah, we're kind of playing just on a world that we can um, kind of explore some of the new stuff and uh, it's kind of just our, I don't know, single player series, even though we're playing together, kind of. Yeah, but nobody else can join this game unless they're on our network. Yeah, yeah, so they would have to be in our house to be able to join. Um... But yeah, we wanted to kind of explore some of the new stuff uh, and things like that. Um, we have been streaming a lot of this world. So if you're wondering why it's so late in the game and why we have diamond tools and whatnot, that is because most of that fun stuff happened on stream. And um, Yesterday. Yeah, actually, yeah, we killed the dragon yesterday. Well, when we were recording this, it was yesterday. Um, so... Yeah, and I think we might continue that trend up a little bit and, and try stream this world a little bit more. Uh, just because then we can uh, kind of explore things and learn them and, and see what happens together. Um, and, and sometimes we will do some builds and do some recording. And if there's something that we find out that it's going to be like super cool, I think we should definitely um, do a video and, and you know tell everybody what's going on and things like that um yeah so right now this is kind of our base of base of operations so <laughs> i didn't fall no again that's good that would be know. embarrassing would be <laughs> um ignore my voice i have a i'm, I'm a little sick Destrian is a little sick today but We'll, we'll take we'll take it easy on her. I have the sexy flam. <laughs> yeah, so what we are building right here is one thing I think is absolutely crucial to most worlds nowadays. Village trading hall. I was like, a Viking longhouse? What? Yeah, a Viking longhouse is crucial to every last world. <laughs> no, um, <laughs> mostly just we need... <laughs> Um, we Sorry, need... excuse me. They're all good. Uh, mostly because we just need mending and unbreaking. I mean, we have our, our elytras and tools and things, uh, which well, we'd love to upgrade to. I, I have an elytra, but both of yours are broken. This is true. But yeah, we did a sh short end busting on stream yesterday. and um... what, do, what do you think? Is, is this roof going to look okay? The, the cobblestone? Yeah, I think so. Uh, what we could do, if we want to make it look a little bit, you know, snazzier or whatever, we could outline the roof, replace these stairs with stone brick, and that will give it a little bit more of, like, a... Oh! A You're in charge of that bit. Okay. My, my bit is the, the, the build the bit, and then you make the bit pretty. I make the bit pretty? Uh, is that it? Okay, well then, let's get to what we need to do to do that. Um, we're going to need to smell a lot of stuff. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab this furnace. We're going to set up a little station for smelting. Smelterino? Yeah. I wonder if we should just take over one of the houses and make that our little smelter house. I think that's a brilliant idea. Why don't you make it the church? Oh yeah? That's a bigger one? Well, and it's close to here. Okay, so... Or you could do the upstairs of the, uh, the crafting, or um, enchant one. Okay. There's an upstairs in the enchant. So I'm gonna take one of these and one of these as well. Oh! That one was that's chock a full of steak. One. Yeah, I'm gonna make, uh, if we have lots of food we wanna oh. smelt. In that chest, you see there's still more steak to smelt. Yeah. <clears throat> I killed all the cows with a looting sword. Ah, nice. Okay. Yeah. So I'm not gonna put on the bottom row then, because you're gonna do it. Okay. 
All right, so this is going to be a little bit of a tighter of the space, but we will make that work. It's, that is the fun part of Minecraft, to you. Kind of breaks it. To the out. I think because we have made a skeleton XP spawner, and I'm pretty sure it's like right below here, and we were thinking of making the entrance here. That's why there's a little hole in the ground. Um, Do we have an entrance to that yet? No, because then we, it was a zombie. Oh, was it a zombie one? And then we found a skelly one out in the desert. Oh, yes. Yes. I got them all confused. You do? Huh? It's fine. Okay, so let's put these two here. So okay. if we ever want to uh, do, like, cleric trading with rotten flesh, we'll definitely make that into a grinder, but... Yeah. Then let's do a... Furnace and then smoker. Let's totally set that the wrong way around. Do you want these to be like separate or in one? The ones that do the blocks. Mm -hmm. Like, do you want to be able to have two single chests that you can like put one set of items in this chest and one set of items in the other, or do you want to have them just all the stuff in one double chest and this splits it evenly? Double chest. Okay. <laughs> Because if I'm going to be using those, I'm going to be smelting a bunch of stuff. The okay, the blast furnace and the and the smoker, you can separate. Yeah, yeah. Have like one chest because I don't do as much of that. But like the the blocks. Yeah, and um, I I didn't see a reason to have like a double chest. There's never a time when you have more than a single chest worth of ores or food. Exactly. Okay. It just smelts them faster if you have two. Yeah, but they smelt things double fast anyway, so... Yeah, they do. And this setup is really not for, um, like, speed. It's more of just convenience. Because yeah. you can only have so many furnaces for that. So I think, I think this will work out pretty well. So let's get some hoppers and some chests going, and... <laughs> Make this thing. Ooh, a lot of. I'm, I'm dying. Dying is not allowed. All right. Good to know. Doesn't change anything. She just changed her mind. She was thinking she could die, but now she can't. So she's like, oh, oh well. <laughs> That's just how it works. Uh, I wish that's how it worked, but okay. <laughs> but okay, as in not? No. Okay, so they're there. Hey, you know how you just got a new computer? Yeah. I need a new mouse. Why? And switch with the other one that you have just like this. Okay. Or you can have have one of my wireless one. I don't want your hand me downs. <laughs> okay. You can also have whatever you want. We can get you yeah. a new one. And while you're getting me a new mouse, order me a new video card. <laughs> a new graphics card? That's what I meant. Oh really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I got a hand-me-down computer, and it's a piece of crap. Is it now? I was all excited. It was going to be better, and I wasn't going to lag, which I haven't liked at all, by the way. Yeah, you shouldn't, especially but, if you're not recording and things, so, yeah. But but the lag's not going to be an issue if I won't play because of the lines. <laughs> Basically, what you want to do is not be on the snapshots, and be on the main releases. Oh, does Optifine fix it? Optifine helps, and then shaders completely remove it. Oh. You could have some shaders, internal shaders, or anything, and the lines are gone. I'm not sure what the problem with NVIDIA is with Minecraft, but um, now I have a AMD Radeon 5700, and all those lines that would be in my video that were like, Cross the 
block lines here. They're gone. So I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to wait for those blocks to, to smelt and then I will be right back to to start building. All right, got some stone brickies here. So let's just do the outline, see how that looks. While I was waiting for all this to smelt, this has done quite a nice thing. So let's see. in place and Des came up with this beautiful beautiful design for the floor um I did let her know of these these are the I guess they're just crafted what are these called polished polished, polished result um yeah um let her know that they have those because she was just using the normal basalt, which also looked cool, but I think these look look a little better. But I really like the new blocks that they're coming out with. Um, so if I have them placed down right here, um, they're not all updated to the Faithful 32 yet. So there are the normal ones, and these are the. Anyway, we were thinking of putting some lights in where the porches are, and yeah. But we did run out of these blocks, so we'll probably have to go back to the nether and get some more. Is this too bright? No, I think it's good. It's All right. Bright. Do you have trap doors or anything? Um, on me. Let's check our woods chest and see. Are you thinking of putting them on top? No. I need something to hang lanterns on. Oh, okay. Let's see. Because I have a special surprise. So we have three. We can try that out and then see if we like it. Yeah. Spruce. Okay, so here? Oh, wait. It would have to be one more up. <sighs> Each other. It's to be on the bottom half of the block, so here. Oh! Those are the... The, the new ones. The new ones. That's cool. That's the wrong spot. I think they look great. The only thing about them is that they give off less light. Yeah. I don't know if that's necessarily a problem. But the shroom lights give off so much that... Yeah. So these are equivalent to the... Glowstone and... So... So if we look at the light... Here... Light... Ten. Ten? Okay. Nine. Oh, this is seven right here. What if I... Oh, I took this one out. Is it still seven? Seven. Yeah. So we would need something brighter. Six. Yeah, we'll definitely need something brighter then. Yeah. Either from the roof or we just switch these over oh. to normal. Oh, wait. I have an idea. More shrooms. Lighter. Oh, yeah. We could do that. And then I have basalt to finish the floor. Hmm. Smart. I'll take it. Sweet. See? Then we just need to figure out how we wanna 
the breeder, I think in underground, and then just have maybe one of these be a just thing that pops out villagers, and we can we can go into their places. But we kind of have to just kind of explore what options we have for for doing that, really, because there's plenty of ways to do this. And there was... Oh, you already switched out that one? Yeah, I fixed it. Yeah, that looks looking sweet. Yeah, and then these lights can just be decorational. They don't have to be functional. They break? Yep, if you open them, you break. <laughs> yes, yes, they will break. Interesting. I wasn't sure oh, you, if, like... You know what we could use? Slabs? Chain? <gasps> oh! We have some chain. I don't know if you can craft it yet or not. Sleep. I don't need to sleep, I'm in here. So let's see. I was chained. Where would I be? With the iron stuff. Five chain. Chain. Okay, so let's see. You can just put it loading too. Like That's weird. That is weird. So let's say if we Go Why ahead. don't you put it here? I'm just gonna put it up one higher. Oh, and then have a chain? And have a chain. And have a... Oh, it doesn't match. It doesn't match. Is it weird? Seems like they need to work on this texture again. Something. Can't wait until my texture pack to the three... I wish Minecraft just wouldn't just do that. Alright, we, we're going to need to do some resource gathering and whatnot. So, let's see what we want to do with the lights. Alright, big process update here. Efficiency! Oh, nice. Efficiency 5? No, efficiency 4. For 52. Do you want me to keep going? Oh, I'll just say keep going. Um, Yeah, it looks... So, Desdrian... Did make a little thing down here. A villager breeder. One of the same ones we had last time. Just a little potato farm. Um, and I did it wrong. <laughs> she did. I think it was only like one thing that was off. Yeah. But she fixed. Her baby. In. Hmm. Anyway. Uh, we, we just had like a little um, water funnel that funnels them back behind here. If I show you we'll just push them all the way through and up into our system here this is the same system as uh, mama jumbo uses on his season seven villager breeder or villager waiting hall uh, and i'll link a link to a tutorial that we followed to to build this thing basically um it just utilizes carpet down there to make it so the villagers don't really see anything but the lectern or whatever workstation is in front of them. And you, all you have to do is basically get them to land here and they will pathfind down to the workstation. And once that workstation um, is taken, this will redstone block will be pulled back and the trap door here will lock it so no one else will pathfind into the same spot. And yeah, until it fills up. So this is, it can only pathfind about eight blocks. So this is kind of the edge of where it could be. I guess I could have moved it a little bit further this way, but uh, I figured I'd want it to be safe than sorry if in regards to having space and whatnot. And what we can do is we can just add another thing on this side, come in this way so we can add another eight and we can just move where our villagers come out if we want to have more of them because once this thing is full I think we can pretty much just tear it all down like I don't think we need the whole, whole we thing. could have some on this side too yeah we could we'd have a one way to walk through them but that's okay yeah is that oh this is right on the middle yeah yeah we could and I mean even once once we got all the villagers we want could tear this out and just kind of move them in place where we want them and, and all that. 
Um, but this way, it's just a little bit easier to refresh the traits and all that. Aqua Affinity for five. Oh, dang. That's pretty cheap. If you want it, do it. Well, I have Aqua Affinity on my helmet, so... I don't. But I've had a few good enchants that give me that, so... I'm mostly interested in this guy, is it? Um, yeah, this one. And... Oh, both of these are on breaking three. Yeah, those mm -hmm. two are super good. And this guy... This is what we were after. Looting three, that's pretty good. Aqua Affinity, pretty good. Mending! Nice. Um... It's expensive. It's Isn't expensive. this guy mending? This guy's thirty six. This guy's thirty eight. We don't need two mending guys. Do you want? Do you want him or no? Nah, nah. I, I'd say let's save the space for something else that we would use more. I'd say if we can get efficiency five, that would be amazing. And yeah, I think silk touch. Silk touch would be pretty handy. Um, just so we can create like good shovels, good pickaxes, and all that. Um, but yeah, this is, I think, where I'm going to end the episode off here. Um, I think in the next episode, or maybe possibly a stream, I haven't quite decided yet, we will probably get some upgrades to these diamond tools of ours and upgrade them to uh, bigger, better stuff. Are you, are you talking about netherite? Yep, that's the thing. <gasps> so touch! Ooh, so touch! Oh, for seven, that's pretty good. Sweet. Boink. Locked in. And one thing I really like about this system is if we go about um, healing them, they're so close together that one potion will do three at least. You could might might even be able to squeeze four together and just do apples on each. But, to heal them? Yeah, to heal them. Potion of healing? Uh, No. So, a potion of weakness. Yeah, a potion of weakness. Then you use the, the apple to to resurrect them or heal them or whatever. I don't know. I get you. Picking up what I'm putting down. Shouldn't we have more villagers? Um, I don't know. I don't think so because it's night. They don't breed at night. Um. And I don't uh, know how quickly they breed. But yeah, so now we have a little income of uh, of potatoes, and we have a little, you know, a couple of guys going. Uh, so now we kind of just need to uh, get a zombie in here and do all that uh, just to make these guys a lot cheaper. And then we can start I getting... I bought a book. Bought a book? Which yeah. book? Silk Touch. Huh. I don't have a silk touch fix, so I can't use an ender chest. Oh, so that would be... And it's super cheap anyway, so... Mm -hmm. All right. Well, uh, if you guys did enjoy this episode, uh, I do appreciate all you guys watching. And uh, if you wouldn't mind, leave. leave a like. And hit the bell. Subscribe. All that stuff. Leave a, leave a comment. Oh, yeah. Tell, tell Anarino what a great job he's doing. Oh. Look, look at that. There's, there's some hearts coming out of the ground. <laughs> yeah, so... Heart, hearts are coming out of your butt. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, so longhouse, villager breeder, and, and a little villager training hall. I think that's pretty good progress in one episode. I think so. All right. Well, see you in the next one. Bye, guys.